Good morning, everybody. It's Rob Chavez with the Virginia Short Sale Advice blog. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, HAFA. I've been getting more and more questions regarding uh, what is the eligibility of HAFA, what is HAFA, uh, do I qualify for HAFA. And I want to give you some, uh, some insight and some uh, information that you might find helpful. I also want to give you a link that is going to give you all this information so that you can go back and, and peruse that link and, and get the information you need. And that is makinghomeaffordable.gov. Great resource of information. Use it. So let's talk a little bit about HAFA. I've got my notes here just to make sure that I, I cover everything uh, that I want to cover. So HAFA actually stands for the Home Affordable Foreclosure Alternative. And there are five different points that you have to, or criteria I should say, that you have to meet to become eligible. Point number one, it has to be your primary residence. So either you live in it right now or you've lived in it within the last 12 months. So that's important. Uh, number two, you have to have a documented financial hardship. So you have to be able to prove that there's some type of financial hardship involved in the process. Number three, uh, your first mortgage has to be less than $729,000. So if you are above that number, you don't qualify for half of Number four, um, you need to have obtained the mortgage before January 1st, 2009. So if you got it after January 1st, 2009, you're not going to be eligible for half of And number five, you, you must not have been convicted of a felony related to uh, a mortgage um, or a real estate transaction such as money laundering, um, some type of fraud, um, you know, anything related to a real estate transaction that you were convicted for uh, in terms of a, and it was a felony, you wouldn't be able to qualify for HAFA. That's one that I, I just read on read for the first time. I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. I, I, I didn't know that. So um, that said, HAFA, the benefit of HAFA is that if you qualify and the, and the bank and the, uh, the seller um, kind of agree on what the price of that sale is going to be, if you qualify, the bank actually releases you of any shortfall debt. So you don't have to worry about any deficiency debt. So if you're $100,000 upside down and, and you qualify for HAFA, they'll wipe that debt clean. Okay. Uh, number two is you'll actually get an incentive, like up to three thousand dollars in in relocation money, right? So that's that's a big benefit for a lot of people because many of my clients say, well, where do I go once I sell the property, right? Um, and the other, <laughs> this is a huge point that I can't believe that I forgot. In order to to uh, be eligible for HAFA, your loan must be owned by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, right? And to know whether or not your loan is owned by either one of those, you can um, you can go to these websites, fannymae.com slash loan lookup, and the other one is freddiemac.com slash my mortgage. So go in there, put in your loan number, they'll ask you for your name, your address, uh, some other information, and see whether or not your loan is owned by either one of those two. Um, if you if you don't want to go online and look it up, you could also call your lender, and your lender uh, is supposed to tell you that information as well. They're supposed to provide you that information. So if you have any additional questions regarding HAFA, um, I'm sure I'm missing something here uh, that that maybe um, uh, you want to know about. Feel free to give me a call. My phone number seven zero three five eight seven zero nine nine five, and my email address is rob at robertchavez.com. I look forward to answering your short sale questions, and I'm here to help. Take care. Have a great day.